Hello and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy VO Series 3 Grand Arena. The second opponent for this week is Wookiee Lucas. And Wookiee Lucas we have fought before. You know, they're still in the Coach and Akawi Amidala Guild. They have 11, 11 and a half million GP and all that. So this is a rematch against them from, I think, like 5v5 a while back. So they've got the Sorty team, an Iden team, a Qui-Gon team, Darth Malgus, a Darth Vader team without an uh, Datacron and then they've got the Seer crew and Malakos team which is annoying uh Ray, Jabba, Vader and Ray. So an entire zone of basically GL level stuff. So I'm excited. I'm really not. Uh let's see. Oh, health steel protection. Luckily no extra defense and it's not buffs on basic. So that's good. I mean the Taking the reduced damage is annoying, but I mean, you know, there's not really much to say about that. We're, as much as this worries me to try, I do want to give it a shot because I had it work on Doya a little bit ago. But at the same time, my relics are not as high as his are, so I don't necessarily believe in my team. But, you know... It works faster just because you can get um, more thermals out more quickly kind of deal. Because with Lando here, uh, once he gets a turn, you can throw that up and he'll be able to just keep assisting kind of deal. So it's just a quicker, quicker ultimate kind of thing, you know? Uh, can we kill Drogon? Oh, we did. Oof, that that had to hurt. <coughs> Let's bomb R2, which sounds really weird to say. Now let's keep going for R2 for the moment. Mostly because he's the one with the most thermals at the moment. Okay, we'll leave him alone for now because I need to throw... Hey, uh, I need, I need to give her that retribution on Leia. Okay, let's give it to Jabba again. Throw the thermals down. Uh, we can probably get rid of R2 with the AoE. No, I don't know how we didn't. I don't know how. Legitimately don't know how I didn't do that, but okay. Okay, uh... Let's get rid of R2, though. Now the problem is going to be Leia. Oh, and the fact that she just put days on everyone. That's cool. Throw some more thermals. Let's do the Bib Fortuna thingy. Basic, because that's all I can do. More bombs. More bombs, more bombs, more bombs. Uh, let's do the little laugh. Armor Shredder. Mm, I don't think that'll kill, but at least... Okay, I thought it would get her below 50% health, but apparently I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now it's time to deal with Jabba. What do we have with this Bushkron? Of course. Okay, so no buffs from like... Not buffs, but the Rothans from buff thing. Uh, I mean, it's not horrible. Most horrible thing to face, but I mean, you know. There will be an annoyance because of that damage immunity. Uh... Yeah, that damage immunity be uh be a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Let's get this show on the road though. 
Uh, let's go ahead and open up with the cooldown increases. They're going to get a turn because Jabba is fast. We're going to go ahead and call in my droid. I'm not a fan of the fact that they went for Afro with the bombs first. Uh, let's do that. Let's reset the cooldowns. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's do that. I would really appreciate it if they left Afro alone. See, that's fine. Go for the droids. I don't care. Just leave Afro alone. No, that's not leaving Afro alone, game. That's like doing the exact opposite of what I just requested. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of Chris Sandston because I'd prefer if he's gone so that way he can't taunt. <sighs> we get it, game. We get it. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more of that going. Beautiful. Let's go get some burning on Jabba. Has he been... damaged immunity yet? Okay, he just was, so... Never mind, it's not a question we need to ask anymore now, is it? Stupid... commando droid there. Nuking him. Okay, um... What is this team looking like? Okay, 171% defense, health, and health steal. Oh boy. Um. Ray, man. Ray, 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 Ray. I hate Ray so much. Ray is just a big annoyance. I'm not a fan of her. Never have been, never will be. Could you leave Palpatine out of this for a second? Uh, let's go after her. GL Ray. Let's get rid of your buff. Still go after her because I need to. Okay, well, at least she damaged me to herself. Morons. Okay, that's annoying, but fine. Um, let's just basic. I really wanted to pull down the Star Destroyer, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it was extremely tempting. Um, the only reason why I didn't is because I wasn't sure if it would actually kill these two. So, so I wanted the risk of not doing so. Um, we'll do this. Okay, that's fine. Because now we can do this. We can maybe stun JTR. We didn't. Now we have to go for Ben. Please leave Star Killer alone. Fucking god. Now let's yank her down. I okay. Thank you. Have I mentioned how much I hate JTR? Load a space junk at her. Thank you. Okay. That could have gone way worse. Absolutely way worse. But uh, I'll take it. 
Lord Vader. Extra protection, extra health, a chunk of defense, and the buffs on basic. However, because they don't have a tank to hide Maul behind, he's going to die real easily. So, um, you know, good job, man. I don't know what the thought process was, but, um, yeah, it was something. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Why not? Extra, pro extra, uh, defense won't hurt me here. It'll help me, actually. It'll, like, benefit instead of hinder me. Also, does anyone know what this backdrop is? Is it, like, a like a hut on Kessel or something? Because I've never seen this before. Or is this, um... That one planet in Season 1 of Mando that they went to. Him and Car uh, Car Cara Dune went to. Is it that planet? Um, what planet was it? I'd have to look it up because... I, I don't remember. Um... Actually, we can do that while the fight's running. Uh, let's see. Google. Uh, first and foremost, let's kill Maul, though. Now we can go for Thrawn. Nando. Oh, wait. The Sanctuary. Yeah, that was the right planet. Oh, Sorgon. It might be. But I don't remember what the inside of the hut looked like, though, is the problem. Oh, well, that's not here or there at the moment. Let's just focus on the fight. Actually, no, it is here because we're actually in the thing, so. Uh... Maybe it was something from Sorgon. I don't know. I mean, it looks kind of like it. I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't really matter either way. It was I was curious if anyone knew or will know. Just let me know in the comments because I am intrigued to know. And also if I find out then I can know what to look up while I'm on Google trying to find the backdrop for this. Like what like certain like word cert like uh words I need to input into the search engine to find out kind of thing, you know. So wasn't Sorgon where he found Cara Dune? Like, ran into her to, like, do the contract or whatever he was out to do? I think so, right? God, it's been forever since I watched season one, so I'm grasping at straws at trying to remember. Okie dokie, could you, uh, please keel over, Lord Vader? No, 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 I didn't mean my team to keel over, I meant you to keel over, man. Okay, can we please, for the love of God, get a healing immunity on before he goes into ult? Or we're just... <laughs> or just kill him. Okay. Oh! That hurt. That popped my shoulder real bad. Okay. 112% defense, some accuracy, stacking defense, health, protection, and offense. Buffs on basic, and it is the Malakos Kron. As much as I don't want to use it here, I will be using my Sith Eternal Emperor. Because I am, a, uh, I'm not keen on repeating what I did on Doya and, uh, failing. So, we will, we'll, we'll sacrifice the GL, I guess. As much as I don't want to. If it's a, if it's a guaranteed win, I will go for it. Well, for this fight. The only problem is then, you know, I gotta think about, oh, what am I gonna do for Malgus up north and... Then maybe there's a GL in the back. I certainly hope there's not a GL in the back because I only have I only have a Kylo and JML left. But you never know in 3v3. These people do, you know, do that kind of thing. They put a lot of GLs out front and then throw some more in the back. And you're kind of like, oh, okay. I don't know how you manage that one, but I mean, it makes sense. If you can do it, might as well, right? I mean, the good thing is with this team is they are charging my ult up, and fear is going to be all alone in a second. Like so. 
Wow, she even still did some damage there. That's pretty impressive. Oh, please got hit auto because I can't link. And I just have to wait on her to... I gotta wait till it gets ult again. And it's just like a little tickle fight. It's like, who's gonna die first? I don't know It's more depressing. The fact that she did as much damage with that lightsaber throw as I'm doing on my basic or the fact that she's still alive. Alright, let's go find out what's in the back zone, shall we? Okay, so defense, health protection, and the buffs on basic. It is annoying, yeah, but like... It's not the, it's not the worst thing to see, honestly. It could be worse. It could be more defense. <laughs> it could be more defense. It could be, you know, way more defense, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll just have to deal with it. With Revan and uh, Bastila here, though, I'm not the most keen of people to do this counter, but just kind of make do. You know, I do need a turn with mm, uh, Hermit Yoda. Instead of y'all taking like 17 turns to my one. I know it's just like the name of the game with this team, but you know. It's still annoying. Okay, let's get rid of the shock on mm, Master Luke. It's basic. Let's do that. Let's do basic again. I need a turn with Hermit Yoda so we can get that going. Let's do another basic. <coughs> okay, I was hoping that would kill. Revan, but, you know, whatever. That's fine. It's not the biggest of deals. What is a big deal is the fact that he's about to kill my JML, though, with those stupid leaps. Come on, we just need to kill Malgus first. Come on, game. The reason why I did that was because so I can have the counterattack from Jedi Knight, whatever the hell it's called. Like, oh, Jedi Will, whatever. Oh, uh, basic Revan. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and put Hoda back into stealth. And slowly, but surely, whittle down Malgus. Actually, let's heal. Good thing we did. Because that would have been another chunk of protection off of JML, and I would not have been a happy camper. No siree. Now let's call Luke. Still don't kill him somehow. But that did. Okay, that's good. Health steal, crit. Oh, wow, that's a lot of crit damage. And protection and extra health. It's probably why he threw that on this team, just because of the uh, crit damage, because it'll be a painful, painful thing. You should watch, like, uh, Django or Newt just get out of existence, which will make me an uh, unhappy camper. Okay, we get it. You're taking your turns. Uh, let's just basic Luke. Luke? That's Anakin, you moron. Uh, let's give it to Django. 
Let's clap you. Let's do this. I know it's not going to do anything, but at least in cooldown, increase the cooldowns for a second on Anakin. Uh, let's do some more sabotage or extortion. Sorry. I really need Cam to come out of his stance, so that way I can. Well, I can focus down Anakin right now, obviously, but. Uh, let's kill Anakin. Nice. Let's do this again. Uh, let's keep calling Django. Maybe you can rocket him out. Crit damage, defense, and accuracy, and whenever they resist a debuff, they're regaining some protection and health. So, that will be a little annoying, but you know, it is what it is. And I mean, and it is the Grievous Joydica team as well, so it's not going to be the easiest thing on the planet to contend with. This is like the third time this evening I've seen this freaking battlefield. I understand it's a new battlefield you can fight on, but like, come on now. You got to make it a little bit, you know, spread it out. Not make it like every couple fights kind of deal. Like, make it a little bit more all over the place, you know. But, uh, you know... New battle background battlefields are nice, so I won't complain. Oh boy, that hurt. That was almost bad. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe land a stun. Okay, so we got through Droidica's VIP, so that's good. And then we got Sorty out, so that's definitely good. Let's get some more dazes. Uh, let's do that because. Hunter is the lowest on protection. And let's call Hunter to assist. Max banners would have been better, but I'll take 56. That's a lot of crit damage, defense, and health steal. But it's not buffs on basic. I'm worried about this just because, you know, it is Aiden. They will have a ridiculous amount of offense because of the defense and they have also a chunk of defense boosted from the data bomb so okay that's good they're going for the wrong person to start off with so we'll go with a stun she cleanses immediately i probably shouldn't have wasted that stun then huh now uh, let's throw a grenade let's do that eh that's annoying a uh, stun stormtrooper maybe no, but we got rid of his TM. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I was worried about with this team. Um, they are really not liking Cassian tonight. What is your hatred for Cassian? He ain't even done anything yet. Like, he's literally not done anything yet. But goodbye, Short Trooper, so that's good. Please leave Adrat alone. Uh... Okay, I... What? I, I didn't expect that to kill her permanently. Uh, of course, reset your cooldowns on a basic... Yeah. Okay. Don't have a lot of faith in this. Don't really have a lot of faith in this. Let's go ahead and get rid of all your team real quick there, buddy. Let's call Yoda to assist again. Goodbye. Like I said. Well, she's had her cooldowns reset, so that's... Grand. Uh, let's call Bastila. Let's spin it back to Bastila. So I really need to stun him. Get rid of your buffs for a second. Now let's leap. Why did he recover all that? Okay, whatever. Whatever. At least the fins are gone. 
Now for Zori. I'll take it. I didn't think it was going to work, honestly, but... I forgot I had the full 5 up first. Rolling around. For some reason, I thought I didn't. And I was worried about actually doing this counter, because... Yeah, for some reason, I... <laughs> I thought I only had, uh, oh, who are the others who I'm thinking of right now? Wow, I'm blanking so hard. Hey then! I didn't think that was gonna work. Alright. Let's. So surprised he won the coin toss. I know he's more like, but not much you can do about that. He's gonna have to roll with the punches there and be like, okay, well I guess I'm going second on that front. But as long as you have higher relics on Sass and their Sass, and even if they don't have Sass out front, that'll definitely help you. Because why would you not have Sass out front? It has been half a year since his fleet dropped, and people still run. This uh, sister trooper out front and the dagger. Like, I don't get it. Why? <laughs> we get it, game. You're taking turns. You don't need to take 18 dozen to my one. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Why is he still taunting even with- well, Shock's not gonna stop it, but you know. It's, it's the principle of the matter. There we go. One down, two to go for fleets at least. We'll have to give this a shot in the dark because I... Yeah. Because I've got a executive to deal with as well, obviously, so um... Yeah. Here goes nothing. Well, that's a first. I've not had them go that hard on a Y. Oh, I'm gonna tie fire that quickly. Okay, I need a turn game. My turn? Maybe? Possibly? 
please. Please let me have my moment. Thank you. Now I can call in my bomber. And now they can't assist one another. At least for a few turns. Let's get rid of that Y-Wing. Let's get rid of Biggs now. Okay, we do need to reapply burning though, I think. Not yet. Okay, let's get some offense rolling. Let's get some protection back. Let's go ahead and burn them all. Now we're going to go for Mr. Dash. If I get a turn in edgewise. There we go. Now we can go for Sabine. What the hell? Her, her profile picture looks really jank in this. Come on, boys. Let's get these rebels knocked out. Okay, there goes Sabine. That's good. Okay, now here comes the ghost. It is the ghost. Annoying, but understandable. Uh, let's go for Han Solo's. Let's warm. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with, very much happy with that. And then we can do... There's a Rebels here, even though I don't like doing Rebels here, but you know. Yeah, we'll take in Cassian just in case we need it. I'd rather need it and not have it, and have it and not need it. Okay, uh, let's do that. Sorry, I was trying to take out notifications on my phone real quick. Nice. See what happens whenever you do assist, you knock ships out. I know it's a wacky concept from Wacky World here, but like... You know. <laughs> Whoa, we killed him. We killed the Razor Crest before he could go ballistic and start marking every each and every one. I mean, we still have to get through house tooth, but I mean, we have Xanadu marked for the second, so you know we can heal. Ooh, we got some assist. Whoa, that's some. I'm in new territory here, boys. I don't know what to think about that. We're actually getting assist off of the fleet, off the ships, and all that in the fleet. I, I can't believe it. I am, I am baffled. Baffled, I say. I don't know what to fucking think about that. Because, you know, normally it's like, uh, no, I don't want to assist. No, I'm good, boss. I'm good, boss. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt them. I just want to, I want to look at them, make them all pretty. I'll buff their shields and all that. Instead of, like, actually attacking, you know? It's like... It's like, just attack. You're not going to harm them. It's just a freaking... <laughs> it's just a... Generated image there, man. Like, come on now. To save... To save myself from headache. We're gonna overkill this team. I don't know what with. Um, we'll go with the extra protection, though. Just because... Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Here we go. We're immediately gonna go for Captain Rex, though. Get some... Uh, TM roll in. Uh, let's save the fear. Stun him, maybe? Nope. Boom. Big <laughs> hit from... Sass there. Oh, that was beautiful. See, this is a good thing about having to actually work on my Sith. I get to do silly stuff like this. I get to do really silly stuff like this. Just like, oh, we're gonna use my Relicate Sass and Relicate Marauder for no reason. Why not? You know? <laughs> 
So buffs on basic, the extra defense, health, and health steal I don't really like, and the ability block I definitely don't like. So I'm kind of leaning towards doing like Inquisitors, you know, because where else am I going to use them, if at all? So why not? And also with all of the debuffs that'll be going all around, it's going to be causing, it'll cause Fulcrum over here to keep hurting herself. So, and yes, I know Kara can stun them and all that, but like, that's not really the issue at the moment. It's going to be getting through Fulcrum and uh, Sana here. I mean, yes, Kara will be a nuisance as well, but we have AoE cleanses and we, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, let's get a heal. Good thing we did heal because she was about to freaking throw the grenades again. Uh, can we stun her? We can. That's good. Um, let's get rid of her TM for a second. Good. Now we can torture. Actually, no. Let's just go on on Kara because she will stun us and I will not be a happy camper. Let's throw the lightsabers around. Beautiful goodbye. Now we'll go for Sana and Ahsoka. Well, that was a bit unnecessary. Now the big problem will be is Ahsoka. Uh, can we maybe knock her out? Yes! Yes, we can. Oh boy, whenever they do a basic, they reset their cooldowns. Maybe this will work, maybe it won't. We'll see. It'll just be a for the fun kind of thing. Uh, let's go for Hondo first. Let's get rid of Hondo with the AoE. <laughs> oh my god. Let's get rid of that taunt. Okay, I guess not. Let's stun him. Good. Actually, no. Let's just get rid of him. Or not. Or not. I guess we'll just go for Quill. Uh, let's just AoE, why not? Just, there we go. Of course, with Chewie being shocked, he's not recovering any protection. So. Okay. Hmm. Eh, we'll do it, why not? It'll be fun if it works. If it doesn't, then oh well. Like I said, it won't be the end of my world. However, I do need a turn, so we're gonna do Elite. We're gonna pass it back to you. Do another Elite. Pass it to you, get rid of their buffs. I know it's not gonna stun, but I just need to get rid of their buffs real quick. Let's go for a dodge, apparently. Actually, can we get rid of Grand Inquisitor? We can, good. Uh, now let's go for Reva. Now, if I can get into ult, then this will be okay. Ish. Because you can't see him strip me while I'm an ult, so. Um, we will poke. Well, now basic step. She's just gonna dodge, okay. How in the hell is she surviving those hits, man? We're doing, like, how big of hits on her? She's just, like, shrugging them off. There we go. Shrug that off. Let's poke. Let's do a basic. And another one. Hasta la vista. So, the final score against Wookie Lucas here was 20, 26 to 10. He only did one attack on 
I think it was Vader. We can look real quick. That was on Ray. And he just got 10 banners and called it good. So I guess the rematch went in my favor. So uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. <laughs> um, if y'all enjoyed, don't forget to hit a like and hit subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later. Hope you have a good uh, rest of your day.